Welcome to Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. Well, you can't get it much better than this for November. Wow, I tell you, the next couple of days across the Intermountain West will be pretty good. Temperatures will be above average through Thursday. We've got 60s and 70s on the plains of Colorado, western Kansas, western Nebraska, Wyoming. Temperatures even up in the mountains will be well above average. The only drawback is, yeah, the wind comes back. We don't expect that much wind today, but it does get a little windy on Wednesday, but temperatures stay very mild. Now, late in the week, a Pacific cold front arrives. It doesn't look like a, a big storm system, but it will change things up a bit with some colder temperatures, mountain snow, and some showers on the plains. We're still looking at an unsettled weather pattern into Thanksgiving week. However, details and the confidence in those changes next week are low. Boy, the computer models are all over the place with timing and strength of the frontal systems and storms next week. So all we can tell you at this point in time is that Thanksgiving week is gonna bring some weather in, but it's really hard to sort out any type of timing or details this far out. Today, look at this nice, big, high pressure ridge over the Intermountain West. If you remember late last week, we drew a smiley face because we thought it was going to give us some nice weather. And really, that is today and tomorrow. Some really nice mild air coming up out of the desert states. So we're going to have some warm two days here today and for Wednesday. Enjoy it. But you can see looming out here off the coast of British Columbia and up into the Gulf of Alaska is a pretty good looking low pressure system that's going to beat down this high pressure ridge and flatten it out. And you can see that. By Friday night and the Saturday, we have a Pacific frontal system and trough coming through. Now, this is not a terribly strong organized system, but what it will do is bring a pretty good slug of Pacific moisture in. So while it doesn't look terribly impressive in the upper reaches of the atmosphere, it's enough of a system to bring some rain and snow showers and plains and snow to the high country as we get into the Friday, Saturday time frame. By next Monday, we have another wave coming on through. This is Saturday's wave there. And then we've got this next low up into the Gulf of Alaska, another one coming up behind it. And you can see the Northwest flow coming into the region. So we're gonna keep systems coming through the weekend and into Thanksgiving week. Now this is for the Wednesday before Thanksgiving with another trough trying to enter the western states, followed up by another couple of systems up there. So it's essentially the same pattern. Northwest winds aloft, bringing not major storms, but small to minor storm systems and fronts to the Intermountain West. This means more moisture there. That is the part of the country that looks really wet in this pattern here going through the next couple of weeks, at least through the rest of November, probably into early December. Here's the precipitation. This is over the next 10 days. So this actually takes us through Thanksgiving. Again, this is a long range forecast. Take it with a grain of salt, especially with what happens out here on the plains as we could see anything from this filling in to being impressive to almost nothing. That's why we don't have a lot of confidence in the forecast yet, but we do have confidence that the Pacific Northwest mountains, the Sierras, the mountain ranges, the major mountain ranges of the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rockies will continue to be fed snow in this pattern. And the snowpack has really responded, at least in Wyoming. These are snowpack numbers as of yesterday. Look at the Snake River, 141% in normal. The Wind River, 120. The Upper Green, 119% in normal. The Yellowstone Plateau, look at that. Now, as you get further away from the mountains, you can see that on the plains, the lower elevation mountains, the Laramie Range, not doing very well, but the Upper North Platte, the Little Snake River, that Northwest wind flow is gonna really enhance the snowpack. And this is gonna be true south of the border into Colorado. We'll show you Colorado's snowpack update tomorrow. This is what it looks like over the next 10 days with snow, and you can see that by the end of this month into early December, we're going to have some good skiing. Thanks for watching the Day Weather Podcast. Have yourself a good Tuesday. We'll talk to you on Wednesday.